on your moon phases. Today we are doing yoga and Pilates. Welcome to Zen Marty Squad. Here we go. So this is when you start to use 
your um, peripheral helpers. And open up that hip, deep breaths, exhale. Good job. Now release that foot. Let's do the other side. I'm just gonna prep that so if I wanna go up much higher than I can. Take that foot up to your ankle, deep breaths in. Exhale. Two more breaths. Marty's able to put hers into her thigh, inner thigh. Come on up to your calves. Good, inhale. And oh, by the way, if you want to challenge on your um, balance, you could also let go of this to a tree pose up here. And swing it too, sway. But deep breath, deep breath. Come on up a little bit higher. Woo. Deep breath. Open up that hip, open up that knee, way out. Squeezing everything from the back, yes? All right, let it go, let it go. Deep breath. Back to a mountain pose right here. Energy flowing from one side to the other. Great job. Deep breaths in. From this position, give me a warrior two. So, that foot, depending on which way you are, the back foot, they are in a T intersect, but farther apart. Here's my warrior two. Just think about from the front part to the back, if somebody was looking at you, they wouldn't be able to see this way. So you're just directly straight line. Yes, now I want you to inhale, bending the knee, exhale. Standing the knee, let's go. Inhale, exhale, good job. At the same time, lower down those shoulders, bring them away from the ears, good. Continue your inhale as you bend, exhale as you extend, perfect. One more, inhale. As you exhale, come on into a triangle pose. Now this is when you may use a block, let's say it's too far down and you can't quite reach it. You can also use the block down further if you are progressing or no block at all, okay? Your choice, inhale, go ahead and continue that bending of the knee and exhale. I want you to reach, reach, reach up, way up, inhale, good, exhale. We're going to do about five breaths for every pose, so be ready to do that. Deep inhale and exhale. We've got two more, good. Reaching up, reaching up. Good. From here, second warrior again. Lifting that front arm up, right into a back reverse warrior, right here. Don't put any pressure on that back leg. Reach as far back as you can. Go ahead and inhale, continue to bend the knee, and exhale. I want you to go ahead and do that for me. I'm gonna watch your moves. Keep going, inhale, good, exhale. I want you to go further out. Alexandra, I don't see your wide stance there, okay? Good, are you as far as you can be? Good, come on up to a second warrior here. Good job, into a first warrior. So now you're going to bring your hips so that it's facing the same direction as that foot that's facing forward, inhale. And exhale, good. Lower down those shoulders, inhale. Good, exhale, perfect. Inhale again. Exhale. From this position, I'm gonna want you to do a reverse triangle. So you're going to, we've done this before, by the way. We've done this before, but you're gonna want to go and um, face that leg that's extended out, okay? And you might need a block for this because this is a very, very strange and twisted position. So let me see you guys do this. You should be into your knee, into your knee. Get that block up there if you need it. Deep breaths in. As you exhale your breath, I want you to rotate your body even more into the 
exhale into the stretch. Now relax. Release. Come down into the runner's lunge right here. All right. Good. Press the heel down on the back leg. Take it up. Inhale. Take it down. Exhale. Good. We're going to do this one more time with the triangle. Bring that hand on the inside of that foot. Release. Now stretch. Way up. So you've got this right here next. Good job. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Bend. Inhale. Exhale. Good. From this position, come on and return back. I want you to lean forward a little bit. Bring your knees down to the floor. Now, get your foot out of the way. Bringing your hand on the inside. Okay? There you go. And reach forward as much as you can. You're opening up that hip. Can you see what I'm doing? Just want to make sure you guys can see what I'm doing. Right in here. So I've got my hands on the inside, my foot on the outside. Deep breaths in. Really opening up that hip. Good job. Woo! Breaths in. Now lift from that position from your knee that's on the ground. Come on up. That was the lizard pose. Come on in the middle. This is a real good pose here. You can place your head onto your um, block if you like. Or you can let it hang. Your choice. Hands to the sides or to the outside of your foot. Inhale it up. And exhale down. Let it hang. Let all that spine from your neck just get elongated and just hang with the natural weight of your head. You should feel some relief. Take deep inhale and exhale. Now bring your hands through and through and reach back. This way you can put your head onto the ground. Support it with the ostrich pose. You feel that stretch in your inner leg. Deep breaths in. Exhale out. I love this pose. It's so relaxing on me. Alright, might not be relaxing to you, but continue the deep breaths, please. Deep breath. From this position. Alright. We'll move that block. Come on forward to the other side here. We're going to go right into that lizard pose. So we're going to move it forward as far as we can. So if I'm looking at you, I know it's, I'm on my other foot now. Deep breaths in. Your knee is down on the other leg now. You're on the other side. Good. Really open that up. Give me five full breaths on this pose. As your exhale comes, come sinking right into it, into the ground. All right, bring that inside of the hand out. Lift that knee up. Good. Bring the inside hand in again. Right into that triangle pose. Again, if you need that block, please get that block. Five full breaths. Inhale deep. Exhale. You may also go and bend the knee and extend that knee. As you do the inhale, exhale. Keep your knees, stems, or All right. Let me see how you guys are doing over there. Good. All right, when you're done with your exhale, go ahead and transition into that runner's lunge right here. Press that heel down on the back leg. Some people
people can lay both of their palms down? I certainly can. I think I've got a short on. Deep breaths in, please. Good job. From this position, go into that warrior two. Now, this time, your front leg is facing forward. Your back leg is in a T intersection. That's right. Deep breaths in. Inhale. Extend that knee. Exhale. Deep breaths in. Knees bent. Press that shoulder down. Good. Give me three more. Beautiful. One more. Down to warrior. Two. Again, five breaths. Deep breaths. I tell you, if you have a headache coming into this class, you should be done with a headache after. <laughs> All this oxygenation you're getting. Good. So you shouldn't see my back hand, right? Because I should be nice and straight. Same with you. Press that shoulder down like you've got heavy books on your shoulders. One more. Back into a reverse warrior. Reach, reach back. No pressure on that back knee. I mean, back leg. Good. You may continue to bend the knee and exhale. Extending the knee. Deep breath. Beautiful. Deep breaths in. 
bring that foot forward or uh, reach back if you can. Don't, don't catch a crap now. Woo! Good job. Remember, you can always use that block on the other side, okay? Come on forward. Come on back. And reach out for that foot again. Good job. So make sure that you're kind of like on your um, on your leg. So you're kind of not on your butt, but you're on your leg. Okay, come on forward. One more time. Come on up. Uh, I know it's uncomfortable, but that's the reason why you got to breathe through it and exhale through it, okay? That's the only way you can get through all these deep stretches. All right, you let go. Come on out from there again. Good. 
release. Wonderful. From this position, I want you to get on your elbows just like this. Extend that leg out. Now give me a nice fish pose right here. I want you to drop that neck, that head all the way back. You're being caught by your elbows, so let me see you do your fish pose. So that should crack some of your necks if you have some tension in there. Just let it drop. Just let it drop and deep breath. This is my other favorite pose. Elongate that back. Really press down onto your elbows. Let me see you. Release it. Release that neck back. Go ahead, Gong Gong. Drop it back. Drop it all the way back. Good. You should feel some cracking in there. Let me see it. Good. Deep breaths while you're doing this, please. Deep breaths. Marty, I don't think you're on your elbow. <laughs> caught you. Get on your elbow, right? Pop up on your elbow. No, drop the head back just like this. Let me see you. Yes. Good. Deep breath. Deep breath. Good job. Don't shorten the neck, okay? Do not shorten the neck. Extend it back as far as you can. Good job. Now lower down to your back again. Excellent. Bring the knees up, feet flat on the ground. I want you to do hundreds. So what this is, you're going to do five, four, three, two, one. Palms up. Five, four, three, two, one. Five, four, three, two, one. Count to yourself now until you get to a hundred. Keep going. I lost you guys. Keep going. It's going to take a little bit till you get that hundred, so work the abdominals. Good job. Keep going. Are we halfway there? Halfway there? Almost? Five pulses, yes. Five quick pulses. Five quick pulses up, on, palm down, palms up, palms down, palms up, palms down. Who's got a hundred? Give me a thumbs up. All right, got only under up. I believe you all do. Relax. From this position, I want you to climb a rope, an imaginary vine. So, this is going to be a little tough. Imaginary vine. Oh. Imaginary vine. Bring it up. So, you're up. You're up. From here, grab the inside of your heel. On both. Extend. Maybe not. There we go. Hold on. Extend. Woo! Breathe. Breathe. Now you got to put all onto the heel of your heel. The heel. Heel. Not your toes, but your heel. That's okay. If you can't do that, we're going to tap. One, two, Three, walk back. Oh, walk back. And forward. Yes. Walk forward. Yes. Good. Now we're going to tap again. Three, two, one. Walk back. Walk forward. Ooh. Now, when I get you guys to walk forward, I'm going to want you to control that walking forward, okay? That means your abdominals are going to be in control. 
one side. And release. Deep breath. Other side. Release. I got an advantage. I've got short legs. Sorry, guys. <laughs> All right. Release. Good job. One more. Good job. So if you can get the ball, y'all got a ball, right? Everybody got a ball? Everybody got a ball? The big ball? Buddy, what's your big ball at this point? All right, from 
here. You're going to raise the buttocks to a bridge, squeezing the buttocks as you come up, balancing. You can also do this on the floor. You don't have to have a ball, right? But you just have to be on your toes or on your feet. Reverse bridge. Lift that. Lift that. Lift that. Yeah, that's it. Now release. Good job. Excellent. Deep breath. Come on up. Really push that buttocks up. Good job. Breathe. Do not hold this breath, please. Breathe. As high as you can get that bridge. Now release. Good job. Let's do it again. Breathe. Raise that buttocks up. Raise it up. Raise it up. Yes. Swing it side to side just a little bit. Just a little bit to where your core is engaged. Your core is going to have to get engaged to try and balance yourself. Now lower. You should feel that on your buttocks. Put your feet on your, to your ball. Oh. Lift. Oh, that's a challenge. Woo, release. Let's do it. Let me see you do it. Good. Just lift as much as you can. I know those thighs are screaming. Release. Good job. Let's do it one more time. Take it up. And release. All right, sandwich the ball. Reach up. Reach up. Reach up. Reach all the way up. Good. One more. Lower down, lower down. Woo! Time you have. Reach all the way up above your head. position, give me a side plank. Get on your side. Don't need the ball yet now. Reach up. You can do this also on your knees, okay? One knee down. You can do that. No shame in that. I want you to thread it. Thread it down. And bring it back up. Good. Make sure you're pulling up onto that elbow that is on the ground in contact. You have one stack over the top, the shoulder, and the elbow. One line. Keep threading. Good. Thread. Good job. Keep it holding, keep it holding, keep it holding, keep it holding. All right, from this position, give me a plank. I'm going to go on this side. Plank right here. You can't do Pilates without a plank. You know what I mean? Deep breaths in. I want you to bring your palms down and saw forward and back. Sawing just forward and back. Saw forward and back. This is a very difficult move, so just take it easy. If you want to do it on your knees, that's fine. And come on back. Forward and back. Saw forward and breathe. Come on up to a side.
side plank from here. Again, you may modify that to your knees if you like. Straight up, thread it. Thread five times, deep breaths in, exhale out. Good, deep breaths in, exhale out. Deep breaths in, exhale out. Two more. Good job. Last one. And pull up, pull up. Woo. Good job. From this position, we're going to extend out. I want you to just, hey, stop looking. Okay, take that top leg and pulse it up and down. Good. Pulse it up and down. Stay. Stay. Forward and back. Forward and back. Excellent. Forward and back. Do not bend your knee. Keep your leg nice and straight. Now take that leg back. On the inside of the bottom leg, I want you to lift, lift, lift. Might be a little bit uncomfortable on the hips. We're only going to be this for a little bit. Lift that leg up, up, up. Good. Inner thigh right here. Bring both feet together and lift. Release down. Top leg up. Bottom leg up to the top. Hold it. And release. Again, top leg up. Bottom leg up. And release. Again. Top leg up. Bottom leg up. And release. Bring them to the other side now. Switching over. Top leg just pulsing up and down. Continuing the deep, deep breath. Using the abdominals to exhale. Now come forward and back. Forward and back. Really feel that imbalance you're creating onto your side and your body. Now take that leg to the back. Bottom leg, come on up and pulse it up. Good. We are coming down. Almost done. Bring both feet up. Breathe and raise them both up. And release. Take the top leg up. Meet the bottom leg up to the top. Hold, breathe, release. Top leg up. Point toes. Bottom leg up. Breathe and release. Top leg up. Bottom leg up. Breathe and release. One more. Leg up. Bottom leg up. Breathe and release. Right. So, at this point, I want you guys to lay on your back. I'm going to turn off my light. Can you turn off the light? Here, turn off the light here. Yeah. I'm going to want you guys to just... Yeah. All right, so from here, if you have any of those oils that I was talking about, now's the time to put it on your temples. You have those oils? If you have those oils, go ahead and put it on your temples. Okay, somebody's got a hot mic. Turn it off. Thank you. All right. So, if you've got your oils in there, I 
want you to just put your hands to the side. Okay, just lay there. I'm just gonna give some instructions here. I'm gonna want you to do this corpse pose. What a corpse pose is, legs are out, okay? Completely relaxed, everything is just laying there, like you're a corpse. Like you're dead, but you're not. So I just want you to take deep breaths in. Exhale out through the belly. Good, deep breaths in. I want you to smell whatever aroma you place on your temples. And just think about that. Deep breath, releasing all of that stress for the week. Exhale, extend the belly. So close your eyes for me. Just close your eyes. Yes, close your eyes. Completely relax, your body is heavy, sinking right to the ground. If you're on the beach, you're sinking right into the beach. Your body is so heavy like lead. Just, just let it go. Good. I want you to reflect on something. This is called Gotta Love It. But I want you to continue to take deep breaths in and exhale through your belly. Our critical inner voice has a tendency to overshadow our good attributes. But each of us is born into a body that propels us to do fantastic things. We simply need a few minutes to give ourselves some long overdue compliments. Take the next few minutes to stand in front. Well, you're not going to stand in front of the mirror, but think about standing in front of the mirror in your imagination and say out loud to yourself at least five of the things that you love about your body. Okay? Just think about that. I want you to start on top of your head and you work your way down to your toes. What do you love about your body? What are you so proud of? What have you achieved? Think about the compliments that others have given you and include them as well as you think about your body from your head to your toes. You might even think about your hair, your nose, your eyes, your hands, your shapely thighs, your back, or your curvy hips. <clears throat> Maybe your friends have complimented you on your smile, your sense of style, <clears throat> confidence, or your strong legs. I want you to remember these compliments as you carry on throughout the rest of the weekend or your next week. Because I want you to remember that when you feel good about your external self, you will bring confidence and self-esteem into your every step. Take your deep breaths in. Just take one minute, one minute to reflect on what I just said. <clears throat> 